Boy, depression can be a really draining thing. It's discouraging to have someone you love deeply lose their joy, their vitality, their energy, and their sense of hope and aliveness. Right, absolutely. And this is like a, a cloud that will cover your relationship. And of course, you can kind of combat it and try to move out of it. But the truth is, if somebody, if you're married to somebody that is clinically depressed, and you probably already know this, uh, that probably is going to include some medication. It's going to include some therapy. And right. that means that you, as that person that is married to the depressed person, can really be a support. In That's fact, right. I know of a couple, I'm thinking of a couple right now that I met in California who I know is so much healthier than they ever would have been on their own because they have each other to kind of go through this process together. Because they walked through one of their depressions as a couple and came out on the other side resilient. But the truth is, whether it's a life issue that sets off the depression or maybe just something internal, maybe there's something raw that has all of a sudden surfaced that's placed someone in a depression, it doesn't matter if it's a natural cause, a biological cause, we usually need to rely on somebody to be sort of a compassionate witness and walk us through that and it's too heavy usually to do that just as a right. spouse. You've got to enlist the support of someone right. else. Right, and just to speak clinically for mm -hmm. a moment, uh, you probably already know this, but there's two big categories of depression. There's endogenous depression and exogenous depression. That endogenous those depression... Those are big words. Those are very big <laughs> clinical words, but uh, if you're coping with this struggle, you've probably uh, have come across them. That endogenous depression, that's the kind that is uh, biological. By nature, that's probably going to, like I said, require some medication and some serious therapy that's ongoing. Right. Um, the exogenous, that's more of a, an episode. This is from the mm -hmm. outside. This is depression as a result of walking through something that is very, a very... A grieving loss yeah. or a jolt to them in some Bankruptcy, way. Bankruptcy, right. a million things could happen that you know is kind of a season that you got to walk through together. And uh, sometimes that's a little bit easier for people to cope with because they can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's very difficult because you don't want to add to the burden of the depressed person by saying, now you're taking my joy and my right. life and my aliveness away. So another important thing is to get support for yourself outside of just your spouse. And it's okay okay to reveal to somebody what a struggle you're having. That will get you on the other side of right. it faster. Finally, I want to leave you with this, and that is that there's a lot of hope for people that are depressed. Right. You know, we sometimes call this the common cold of emotional struggles. Mm -hmm. We know a lot about what the professional does, the professional community does, know a lot about what it takes to live with right. depression and to cope with it effectively. And you can do this. It's not a black cloud that has to hover over your relationship forever. You can find true success right. and really enjoy life together. Yeah, so have hope for the future.